Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to put plumbing fixtures in our bathrooms and our kitchen, starting with bathtubs. And I'm also going to show you how to model uh, things like your bathtubs in AutoCAD. Now you can download uh, what we call CAD blocks, and I'm going to teach you how to make your own CAD block in this video. Or did I already do that with the doors and windows? I think I probably did. But um, just showing you real quick how to do a tub. Um, I'll start with a, you know, let's start with a rectangle. And this is a very simple tub. It is going to be three feet by, t hit the tab button, and five feet. Okay, so there is a tub. Um, I'm going to, there's several different ways you can do this. I've done it many different ways. Uh, but here's one of the easiest ways. Uh, do an offset of three inch offset. Okay, and then fill it each corner with a about a two inch radius. Okay, and I do that by going to the fillet. Okay, and it says when we do it like this, we have a 90 degree angle. Uh, but if I type R, that means I can type in a radius and I click the enter button and two inches is my radius. And then I just click on each line to get a two inch radius. And of course, between each click, I hit the wrong button. I got to hit the enter button between each click. Okay, and some people might go ahead and put a much steeper uh, angle and everything to the upper part here, um, to the part that faces or the where the water comes out. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, but anyway, there is a very basic tub, and you also want to put a drain in it, and we'll put some faucets on here too. Um, up here a little closer. And I'll find the center. Okay, and there's many, many ways to do this as well. I actually could have just mirrored that. And it would have been perfect. I think it's pretty close to perfect. Good enough. Okay. And then what I do there is I trim. So I activate the trim tool. Get rid of that. 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 Get rid of that. And I'll have to delete that one. And then I'll fill it. And depending, let's say two inch, oops, R two inch. Not sure what a two inch fillet is going to do for this. It doesn't want to do it, that's for sure. So let's try a one inch. Fill it. Oh, it's an offset. Fill it. And it doesn't even want to do that. Well, it does, but if it's way up there. Okay, which that might not be bad. I could just take this, pull it on out. Probably about right there. And take these and make it more of a proper spout. And you can get that one. Okay, so there is the spout. And then for your spigots, and we just kind of pick a spot. Okay, 
Let's see about right here. And I'll offset that about 30 inches. A bit much. Offset about 1.5 inches. That's more like it. Then get the little handle piece that you turn and you can go into as much detail as you want with this and I've kind of cut that off because I want to mirror that. So select mirror and select the objects and then I select the mirror line. I'm just going to aim when I get that right. I got it very close. Oops. I always do that. So aim and get it right between those two lines. Click and then enter. And then close. Trim those off. Oh, I should have just extended that. Bad habits. So I'm going to push the shift button while I'm in the trim command and exp expand that. And really, I should have just closed it up. Okay, so there's one handle. You can, again, you can go into as much detail as you want to with that. Uh, next, we will mirror that handle. Okay, so now we got a tub with faucets, and I will just turn that into a block. And again, you can download these, just Google CAD blocks, or you can create your own library of blocks. And just to show you one more time how to create this block, go to Create Block, I'm going to name it, um, I'm going to name it Rectangle Tub. And click OK. Oops, specify the insertion point. Well, I specified it way out here. But there we go. We'll just do that. And it fits just about perfectly right in there. Okay. So, of course, I know that's backwards. I will fix that. Uh, but I will do the same thing. I'll put the same kind of tub right in this bathroom. Um, you can make bigger tubs if you want. Uh, do anything you want to. That's what AutoCAD is for. It lets you do what all else you want to do. And um, I would actually put on these plumbing fixtures, I would actually put those on a different layer. I would uh, uh, make a layer called plumbing fixtures. Okay. So um, that's how you model bathroom fixtures.